So, uh, what would the world be like without Shakespeare? I think this is a, it's a fascinating, counterfactual, um, a very complex question. You know, I think one, one view of this would be that, um, uh, you know, a culture that dominates the world would take its figurehead with it. Um, and if it hadn't been Shakespeare, it would have been someone else. But I think that the other way of thinking of it is that Shakespeare, um, who was spoken about by the great critic um, Eric Auerbach as uh, godlike in his non-partisanship, provided um, a vehicle for uh, the cultures who were being colonised, as well as the colonisers, uh, to, to, to take something from that. Um, so, you know, I think that one of the interesting things that happens here is the transition from um, uh, a figure who's seen as quintessentially British um, and who's being taken as a figurehead of British genius into Africa to someone who's taken over um, uh, by you know the, co the colonized subjects and then and then independent Africans and and um, you know new and, and in many ways much more interesting things happen um, and I think Shakespeare the way that he writes uh, allows that in a way that perhaps no other author could so if Shakespeare hadn't existed, perhaps um, the history of, um, of decolonization uh, would have been a greater rupture, um, uh, a greater cultural rupture um, than, it, than it has been.